so flawed everything and that shit starts to get draining because you see here comparing your life looking at your life to other people on the media and they should not even good for real it just look like it come back when you think YouTube and welcome back to my channel we're back at it again with another video so guys I'm about to run to Target I just picked up some coffee from my wall they didn't even have what I wanted hope it's good oh my gosh it's not bad it's mocha mint I wanted regular coffee vanilla but they didn't have it I have to start off with coffee y'all oh my god mm. Yo. Anyway, so I'm about to head to Target today. I have to get some girl stuff. Gotta make a couple errands. Gotta do some little business stuff. Whatever, whatever. It's hot as hell. It's freaking October. So I'm from up north, right? And October up north are it's cold as hell. And I'm in Virginia right now. It's really hot as fuck. I don't know if it only be me, but like, I have just been feeling so like ill with the world right now. Like everything is so ill, especially social media. Like y'all, social media right now is just like, ugh. and it's crazy because I'm a business owner. So like, I'm always on Facebook and stuff, but I don't even want to be on Facebook talking about my stuff, promoting myself or nothing like that. Like it just feels so yellow. <laughs> Like, I'm just not feeling anything about social media right now. Like, it's becoming draining. Y'all remember when social media was fun, Instagram was fun. Everything was just fun and different and just nobody was trying to be, like, overdoing anybody. Nobody was trying to flex. Like, it was just some, It was something fun to do. Vine was out. Now we got TikTok, but Vine was out. Like, I don't know. It's just... I just be feeling like now I need a big ass break from social media because that shit is draining. It drains your mental. Scrolling up on them little videos all the time, especially Instagram, bro. I cannot get with Instagram. Now that TikTok is out, I'm a TikTok girly because Instagram be having me like just ugh. Because everything on Instagram is so fucking perfect and so flawed and so live. So many lives. Like y'all is not living like this. Y'all not doing this stuff. Everything is capped. The social media app platform I love right now is TikTok. It's so authentic. It's so real. It's funny. You go for laughs. You go for tips. It's Google and one. Like that is TikTok is day right now. Like TikTok is the number one for me. Like you could be yourself on TikTok and you know relate to others who are being themselves on TikTok. These other apps be so fucking fool, so flawed, everything. And that shit starts to get draining because you see here comparing your life, looking at your life to other people on the media, and they should not even good for real it just look like it social media would just have you just stuck and just drains and just like you know always on your phone always looking at posts always um trying to do content always it's like it's just so draining now like it's not fun anymore it's not fun you gotta sell yourself you gotta do this and do that you got all this inauthentic shit like it's just not it anymore i don't know why it became this like it's just ill for me i'm one of those type of people who i need to take breaks so instead of being on my phone i'm going outside you know i'm reading books whole time like when i really be on my phone most of the time i'm reading like if i'm on my ipad i'm reading books i'm listening to music i'm listening to valuable podcasts i'm trying to get right back in a in a good zone because social media will really drain your ass out and have you just thinking like you're a piece of shit and your life sucks and it really don't it's just you know it's too much too much too much going on too many different lifestyles too many different opinions with social media i know that you have to follow the right people or your timeline is going to be draining following things like the shade room and spiritual word and all like all that bullshit it just it'll start to drain you and make you feel like uh like you gotta follow people who gonna motivate you who gonna push po positivity on you who gonna do shit like that because at the end of the day you gonna be comparing yourself you gonna be other celebs drama you gonna just be wasting your fucking life doing what following up with the trends following up with people's thoughts like it's pointless it's useless yeah 
So it's just like, I don't know. I just had to take a break from social media. I be getting tired of social media. I don't like the food shit. I don't like the inauthentic stuff. I don't, it's just so like flawed. And then so much stuff get passed on social media like it's a good thing. Relationships. When the fuck did we, when the fuck did we start turning on our partners and start doing stuff just because social media said so. The whole 50-50 conversation, like you gotta do 50-50 or like that shit is dumb, bro. Do what works for your household. Why are we still having conversations of who paying 50-50, who going half on rent, who doing this? Do what works for you. Why, why are we glamorizing on social media, cheating on our partners? Why are we glamorizing on social media, this soft, everybody wants this soft life, the luxury life. Like this is not real. Like what, why are we? Why does everything have to look so aesthetic? Why does everybody's kitchen look the fucking same? Why, let me stop cussing. Why does everybody want to be in a penthouse over, you know, top the top penthouse and all these chains and all this money? Like, where's the realness? Because it's like everybody be trying to put on a flex for other people. And I was watching podcasts and I was seeing um, this one girl talk about how, like, her lifestyle, she had to try to keep up with her lifestyle because she created a lifestyle around social media and how everybody wanted her to look instead of doing what she wanted to do and really following her budget following suit doing what makes her happy because you know she wants to do for her followers on social media and at the end of the day she's damaged she's drained and she's tired of that shit because it's not really her so at the end of the day it's like why do we do stuff like that why does, why does social media have to shape people's reality and then like for me when people are like this social media stuff is not real it's not it's not but at the same time people do voice their opinions on social media a lot you can tell how somebody's feeling through social media like don't tweet nothing on social media or or make a facebook post on social media and then say it's just social media but the post say damn i hate my girlfriend what the fuck like <laughs> like what what is going on but you talk to the person they're like nah babe i love you i love you i don't hate my girlfriend but you on social media talk about you hate your girlfriend which one is it like it's just like too much for me right now like, i really want to come back in touch with reality it's hard though like i said as a business owner like making your money from social media i haven't worked a job and coming on three years and it's like if i make my money on social media of course i'm gonna have to be on social media but at the same time it's draining as hell like even be on there and constantly trying to you know get money and talk to people like i'm not even not saying that i'm not a people's person but i don't like to talk to people for too long because my social battery gets drained so fast yes i can talk to people that's just like you know just who i am but it's draining as fuck like i don't want to keep talking to all these people all day sometimes you need a clear level-headed mind like i don't want to do that like mm -mm. social media is just destroying reality it's destroying people's mental it's destroying people's thoughts people really be thinking like like for real this girl had posted i just seen this on a blog this girl posted like this man took her out to the cheesecake factory she didn't want to go to the cheesecake factory on the first date and she like look at me i look good i look good look at me and i'm just like who, who do you think you are because for one you don't look that good you not that man was being so nice to you you would have had to get out my car talking like that like i'm too good to be going in the cheesecake factory i'm like girl i have purple lipstick and all i'm like who do these people think they are like social media got y'all head thinking y'all fucking beyonce in this bitch like social media got y'all thinking y'all is just the shit <laughs> like you're not a regular person i'm confused it's not even it's just so it's just so much and i feel like in order to really find yourself be true to yourself and figure out your purpose and what you want to do you got to step out of other people's worlds sometimes social media is a whole bunch of mixtures of people's worlds people's lives especially nowadays everybody's content created and you're getting a look into people's lives sometimes you can look at your life and be like damn well i'm not doing nothing with my life like they're doing with their life and you start to get discouraged and you start to be you know hating your own life the whole time you blessed as hell like you're blessed but that's what social media creates us to do y'all i don't know it's just i'm just tired of it and i think that like i took a little hiatus for a little bit i had to get off instagram for like a week whatever but like i said i made my money to it and i don't run ads but I'm about to start running ads to my business so I don't have to fully show up. And then I'll do like some content creation on the side. Of course, I love YouTube. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, yo. I love YouTube so far. Um, TikTok, like I said, I love TikTok because it lets you get the real authentic side, the goofiness, the real life stuff people going through. 
yes there's some good content creators on there as well but when it comes to instagram facebook and all that like whoo it starts to get too much because people people put on this people put on this act but yeah y'all i'm about to go into target and get some stuff but i just want to say if you want to take a break from social media do it because sometimes we need that like sometimes we look at our life like it's horrible the whole time we are so blessed just because we were comparing to what they show on the screen and then like social media is only half of the reality we don't get to see what's really going on behind the closed doors and that's the dangerous part that's the dangerous part of social media we don't get to see what happens behind closed doors we get to see the edited versions of people's lives and the edited version of people's lives what do they do they edit the shit out comparing ourselves to the edited people and that's why i really mess with creators portray who they really are because you know like not all creators are like you know flop bad but majority of them be capping like that's just what it is but y'all if you need to go ahead and take uh, a break from social media just do it i feel like when once i took that break i felt so good because i just started getting into with myself reading books like you know listening to podcasts that motivate me going outside touching the grass getting like in nature getting in the sun like all of that matters bro like all of that matters so it's okay to like take a break and do that stuff for your mental because at the end of the day your mental is what matters and y'all i'm gonna end it there because i'm in target i need to get this stuff so i'm gonna um thanks for watching my video let me know what y'all think in the comments how y'all feeling about social media if you're new here welcome this should have been in the beginning <laughs> anyway if you're new here thank you for watching um yeah and if you're not new here, thanks for subscribing. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you on the next video, friends. Your girl is just tired of it, okay? But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.